So again, a reminder, please turn off your cell phones. And uh, we will start with a comment from Coach Martin and then open it up for questions for the student athletes. First of all, Mike, uh, give us an overview. I can see why Tommy Henry is a second rounder. That was a beautiful, that was a masterpiece. He just uh, really, really made it tough on us. You look at the overall ball game and you got to say, gosh, Christian Bullock just killed us with a couple of those plays out there. They played beautiful baseball. They got tremendous pitching from Henry. It's uh, something that you as a, as a coach and, or a player, you don't look at anything except, hey, be ready to play when your time comes. And that's what we intend to do. Okay, we'll have questions for the student athletes now. Please remember to tell us who you are, your affiliation, and to whom that you direct the question. We'll start here with Mike, and then Adam. Uh, Mike Malloy with the Orlando Sentinel. CJ, and you, you, tonight I think somebody had a count. It was like 15 times with two strikes they fouled the ball off. I mean, it just seemed like they just kept doing that to you. You just kept fouling off pitches and running your pitch count up. How, how frustrating was that? I mean, it's always frustrating when they're going to do something like that, but you just have to trust yourself and trust your team behind you. Keep making that pitch, and whatever pitch is called, just execute it. Okay, Adam. Adam Sparks of Tennessee. And, uh, Mike, uh, two games, scored one run combined, granted against very good pitching. But you guys hit really good pitchers the last three weeks. What's, what's missing offensively these two games? Um, I guess, like I said, it's that time of the year we're going to be facing. A lot of these games are pitching and defense, and it can come down to that this time of the year. And I think we just got to keep pushing. And I don't necessarily think something's missing. I think it's just keep, keep battling and hope that it uh, turns around for us. OK, here in the back. Uh, Steve Robertson with jeanspage.com. Mike, uh, Coach said that Tommy Henry pitched a masterpiece. What was he doing that made him so successful? No, you might. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think he just was hitting his spots well, uh, mixing speeds. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I didn't think he missed too many spots. And uh, wasn't really giving us too much. And if we did square it up, it seemed to go right at other people. I mean, that's a tough park to – get one out too. And um, that's just how, kind of how the day went for us. He threw well and when we did square it up, it just kind of found the glove. Okay, here, right behind Adam. And then Adam. Corey Clark with a war champ, uh, Mike Salvatore. Um, touching on that a little bit, it seemed like every time you guys did hit a ball hard, they caught it. Every time they hit a ball hard and they didn't hit many balls at all really, but the ones they hit hard seemed to find holes or, you know, going to the stands. Did it seem a little bit unlucky, just the way you guys hit the ball a little bit and they, you just couldn't find spots? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's just sometimes how this game goes, and that's why it's, it could be the best game in the world, and then some days you think it's the worst game in the world. And uh, today I think it was just one of those days for us, and the, belt, the ball fell good for them. And um, like I said, you can turn it around and it can, anything can happen in each game. Adam? Again, for Mike, um, to follow up on that, CJ was really good on the mound. Uh, bullpen was phenomenal. Can you speak to how well the pitching was to keep you guys in it? Yeah, I mean, every inning we came up to the plate, I think there was a good – we were in the game the entire game, and there was – at any moment we can get a couple, couple guys on and maybe move some runs across. So they kept us in it the entire time, and, um, yeah, it just didn't – didn't turn out that way for us, but we were in it the whole game. Oh, thought it was you, Randy. <laughs> okay, any more questions for the student athletes before we uh, let them go? Okay, guys, we'll see you Wednesday. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay, questions for Coach Martin. And we'll start here with Mike. Uh, Coach, uh, I don't know how many uh, left-handers you've faced this year, but was that um, was that a factor in this? I think you maybe have five left-handed batters, the, the fact that you were going up against a lefty. 
We've done, obviously, a lot better than we did tonight. Um, but there, there's no way that I'm going to insinuate anything to take away from what those young men from Michigan did. They played beautiful baseball. They got it done. Tommy Henry deserves a lot of credit. Uh, the left fielder, Christian, made beautiful plays. They didn't make an error. They played solid baseball. I, I would never even think to say or come up with an excuse. There are no excuses with Florida State baseball. They kicked our fanny and Tommy Henry. If I was playing Michigan next year, I'd be real glad because I'd know he's gone. <laughs> okay, here, Adam. Yeah. Uh, Coach, still the, the one run you scored in the first game had to manufacture it, sacrifice, fly, none in this one. Is it safe to say your guys have to hit or, or you're not going to go beyond this next game? Well, I think that's, uh, that's kind of, you know, status quo. If you don't hit, uh, it, it's very difficult to score. I don't see that we didn't hit tonight. Tommy Henry made clutch pitches when he needed to make pitches. And they made outstanding defensive plays, whether they needed to make them or not. They were very impressive all the way around this great game of baseball. Okay, here in the middle. Coach, have you settled any pitching plans uh, for Wednesday, or is that still kind of a matter of discussion? Um, Connor Grady, uh, freshman from Tampa, will pitch uh, against the Texas Tech team. Mike? Uh, Coach, can you talk about your first baseman, Carter Smith? I, my understanding is he was a catcher at the start of the season and then converted to first base. But how, how hard is that to do? He's done uh, done very well. I, I was very pleased with uh, his maturation process, playing on an everyday basis. He is a guy that could play second. We used him all over the field trying to find out, you know, how we could get him in the lineup. And first base just – was the best spot for him. But uh, I think he's going to be a, a very good addition, and, and we just hope that he continues to improve. He's a junior is what I'm talking about. Yeah. OK, any more questions for Mike? If not, we'll see you Wednesday night. All righty. Thank you. You got it. Thank you, everybody.